Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your brother. It's gonna be bringing you a little bit of a live commentary. Commentary, you know how these go. Today, I got a couple of tips on how to do these a little bit better to try to make them less choppy. So, we're gonna try those out. Uh, I think that those will probably help quite a bit. Actually, let me make sure that this is correct. So, um, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes, and we'll see if uh, I can do this correctly. Saying, I never thought that I was going to get to a million subscribers. When I started this whole crazy gaming thing two years ago, I never thought, never thought that I was ever going to get to a million subscribers. And now, here we are, about 12 to 11,000 away from 1 million subscribers. That is so ridiculous to me, and I just wanted to give you guys a huge thank you. Oh wow, that was just fortunate. But I just want to give all of you guys a huge thank you. I know that sometimes, you know, it's hard. Whenever there's a million people, it's, you know, it's really hard to thank every single one of you. But I can do my best, but I just want to say thank you all so much, you know. You guys made my dreams come true. I get to do what I love every single day, and that's all thanks to you guys. And, you know, I couldn't be thankful enough. For everything that you guys let me do, and I'm just glad that my videos entertain you guys, and that you guys actually enjoy watching me play, you know, the game that I love to play, and the thing that I've grown up playing, and I get to do it every day for, you know, my job, and that's just like a dream come true. So I just want to thank you guys. I know it's going to sound a little bit sappy, and I usually don't do this stuff, but you guys, you know, you guys need, you guys need to hear this, because, you know, it's really, really crazy, and, um... This all started from, you know, me playing Call of Duty as a hobby, and I somehow discovered this and was somehow fortunate enough to um, find out that this community was an actual thing. So I just wanted to thank you guys and say, you know, thank you guys so much for letting me do what I do every single day and uh, allowing me to, you know, fulfill this dream. Alright, so, you guys know my common predicament with socks. At least some of you know. The ones that follow me on Twitter for sure know. But I've been having a problem with socks recently, and the problem is that I always lose them. I never have enough. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is a problem with you guys, but especially for me since I'm always traveling and, you know, I'm taking different socks to different places. These socks are seeing the world. I just lose them, and I don't really know how, but I do. So I went and picked up some new socks, and let me tell you, it was probably the best feeling in the world to get a new pair of socks. Like, how... As awful as that sounds, it was probably the best thing ever because I, you know, I haven't had a fresh pair of socks in the past fucking, like, six months at least I haven't had new socks. I've been wearing the same couple of socks, traveling around and losing them over and over, and that's my story about socks. Guys, so, I went to Not Scary Farm and Disneyland this past weekend. I went on Saturday and Sunday. And Not Scary Farm is supposed to be like a haunted attraction. You're probably not too familiar with it if you're not from California. Um, but it's supposed to be like a haunted attraction and you know, you're supposed to get scared and it's supposed to be like haunted mazes and stuff. And wow, what? It's supposed to be like haunted mazes and stuff. And let me tell you something, it was not scary at all. I was like so excited because I love places like that. I love going and getting scared. I love haunted mazes. You know, that's like, that's probably my favorite thing. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, and uh, haunted mazes are just like the best part of Halloween. So, I'm going through these haunted mazes, and I'm like, I could have worked there, and I could have put on, well, no, I wouldn't have even needed a mask to work at one of these places, and I could have just, you know, worn my regular face, my regular skin, and I could have, you know, done better than the people that were working there. I could have been like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could scare the living daylights out of people with just my skin. But so, that's not Scary Farm. It was really not Scary Farm. It's called Knots. Like, full speed ahead, Captain. Ten knots east. Or something like that. That's the regular, um, you know, definition or the wording of it, the lettering. But it was not scary. N-O-T. You guys get it. <laughs> you guys, I think you got it. But I also went to Disney. And I don't know what it is with me lately. But I've been drinking a lot of coffee, and you can probably tell right now. But I got a mug from there. I got a mug, and this is the mug right here. It's a Jack Skellington mug. If you don't know what that is, go watch The Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas quickly before I think less of you. I'm just kidding. But if you haven't seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, you're really missing out. Great flick. Great flick. But um, 
yeah, Disney was a lot of fun, obviously. Uh, I took a little vacation from streaming and sort of making videos, but now I'm back, you know, doing stuff. I didn't take any days off. I just wasn't, like, making videos daily like I usually do. But, yeah, that was pretty much my weekend, and I just, I was going all out over there. Just, oh, a little bit about Halloween. Halloween is probably one of, if not my favorite holidays. I think Christmas ranks just a little bit. I think Christmas and November rank ahead of Halloween. You know, Christmas and Thanksgiving are just like the alpha male holidays. Like Christmas is crazy. Everybody w can't wait till Christmas to get their presents, to give presents to their loved ones. And then Thanksgiving, who doesn't love eating a big old turkey and mashed potatoes and stuffing and gravy like if you don't like eating large amounts of food, especially on Thanksgiving, one of the one of my exceptions to just eating and binging as much food as I can, then I don't know what to tell you. But Halloween is definitely up there. I mean, trick or treating. What little kid, or what you know, whenever you were younger, what kid didn't enjoy going out on Halloween night and just trying to get as much candy as you can, going back home afterwards? and trying to like way up and scale up everything that you got and trying to do a competition with your friends and then also not to mention the movies nightmare before christmas scary movies if you like scary movies i love scary movies you know the new american horror story season if you haven't been watching that you're missing out but you know movies scary stuff the colors orange and black you know halloween is a very very hard holiday to not just thoroughly love, you know?